Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the camshaft position sensor, or also known as camshaft sensor, on a 5.3 liter V8. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the particular vehicle that I'm working on here, it's a Chevy Trailblazer EXT, so it has the 5.3 liter V8. So if you are working on the same vehicle, I have a lot of links down in the description of other things that I've done to this vehicle. If it's not this vehicle you're working on, but you do have the 5.3 liter V8, the part and process is still the same. It's just a little bit of getting to it. And we're going to see in a minute, I've already removed the intake manifold from it. And the reason I did that is because some of the other vehicles, the intake manifold is a little bit different. But if you are dealing with a Chevy Trailblazer, I'll have across the top, also down in the description, in depth, how to remove the intake manifold, how to put it back on, how to torque it properly, all that. But as far as where we're going to start here, any 5.3 liter V8 will be this whole process. Looking in here, your intake manifold would normally be right here. Right here, we have our valley pan lid. If you want to see a video I did on how to replace the gaskets on that, also the knock sensors, things like that, all that's down in the description. If we come along here to the back, right along the back there, you'll see on the right side is our oil pressure sensor. To the left of it, right here, that is our camshaft position sensor. So all it is is just one bolt holding it on and a harness. It comes right out. You can do this without removing the intake manifold. However, it's very hard because you've got to get around, uh, along the back to get to all that. So you're kind of working blind through that. With the intake manifold still in place, coming along, there's our fuel lines, the fuel rail. And along the back of the intake manifold near the firewall, you can see looking down there on the lower one, you see the oil pressure sensor. Right above it is the camshaft position sensor. I had to take the intake manifold off anyway to do other work to this vehicle. So it's just easier if you have it all open like this because you have full access to everything back there. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what's needed to complete this and we'll get this taken care of. All you'll need is obviously your replacement sensor. You can pick these up at automotive stores, online, things like that. However, when you're dealing with sensors like O2 sensors, camshaft position sensors, things like that, you don't want to just grab the cheap stuff from China. You want to make sure that you're getting an OEM part um, or the um, equivalent to that. So we have our sensor here. You will need a ratchet and then you will need a 10 millimeter socket and that's to remove the bolt that holds it in place. Now, to get to this point where we diagnosed where the camshaft position sensor was the problem, we were having some performance issues with this vehicle with some rough idling, some acceleration issues, and just some performance issues in general. And on top of that, we were getting a check engine code, and this is the code that we got. That obviously um, calls out specifically this, this sensor. So replacing the sensor will solve that problem, get the performance all back to where it needs to be. We're going to start by removing the harness here on the back. Lift up that tab there and pull that out. Slide it around this side. And this particular one here is pretty dirty because we had a the uh, valley pan gasket here was leaking, so oil got all over in here. So while I have that out, I'm going to use some of this CRC cleaner for electronic connections and just spray that clean. We do have the battery disconnected. because You don't want to be doing that with the battery connected. Clean that out real good. That way we have a nice connection on the new one. And this stuff is good because it will dry quickly. We'll turn it this way. Let it dry while we're removing that. Now we'll come in with our 10 millimeter. Put it right here on this. There we go. Those aren't on that tight, and you can just come in by hand and remove that. Pull that out. Put that in a nice safe spot. And now we have our sensor here, and we can just pull up on that here and pull that out. If that's in too tight, you can get a flathead screwdriver or a little pry bar just to get a little leverage. You don't want to go yanking on a thing because you don't want to damage anything. And let's see, we can pull that out of there. There we go. These can be in there kind of snug. This thing's a mess. Let's go get our new one and drop it in. 
Obviously that just came off. This is the new one. You can see how much cleaner it is. There we are. Let's get that new one put in and wrap this up. I cleaned that out in there as well. You don't want to be leaving all that junk. We'll drop this in place and we'll push it in. You'll hear it clip. If it's hard to push it in, you can use a rubber mallet and just gently tap it in. There we go. You don't want to be hitting it hard where you break the harness connection. Line that up. And then we'll take our 10 millimeter, hand tighten that in. Get our ratchet. Tighten that up. We have our harness all nice and dried out from cleaning it. Feed that in here on this side. And we'll pull that all, line it all up. There we go. It's all nice and secure. Now with the new camshaft position sensor installed we have to relearn it so what we're going to do is take the car for a drive we're going to take it up to approximately 55 miles an hour some people recommend 4,000 rpms but we'll see what happens but we want to drive it up to about 55 miles an hour steadily and then come back slowly and a lot of times that's enough to get the sensor to be relearned We're gonna gradually increase the speed and slowly get the RPMs up. And now we'll start gradually decreasing in the RPMs, come down slowly. You can see the check engine light is now flashing, which is a good thing. So it's now going into a pending state instead of confirmed. And slowly come down on the RPMs. All right, well, that wraps up this video on how to replace the camshaft position sensor on a 5.3 liter V8. I hope that this video was informative for you, helped you out with any projects that you're working on. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.